Hello, my name is Carla Amesqua. I am a consecrated woman of Regnum Christi and I've been consecrated to Christ since 2002. And in my journey as a consecrated woman, I've worked with a lot of homeless people, with a lot of people that suffer so much abandonment, that feel invisible in this world. And in Mission Youth, I have found a beautiful opportunity, not only for me to be evangelized by the poor, but also for me as a consecrated woman, to bring other people to serve. And as they serve, they are also evangelized. They are also touched by that grace that is hidden in those people. Because when you interact with the poor, all of a sudden you find that they are mirrors. They are mirrors where you also see your own brokenness. And as a consecrated woman, it's been a joy for me to start building Mission Youth in my city. I've been living in DC for a year and a half and starting this mission in a rough area where at the beginning there were people that were telling me don't go there Carla they're gonna kill you they're gonna do all these horrible things to you but with the good advice and with the good measures that we always try to take care of the advice from the police department with the missionaries of charity that actually live in that area they have all encouraged me to go and after a year and a half it's been such a joy in my heart to realize how this past Holy Week we were able to bring more than 60 missionaries to one of the roughest areas of the city and they were all so joyful and they were not afraid of bringing Christ to the streets of Anacostia. We prayed the Stations of the Cross around an area where supposedly we were going to be killed and not only we were not killed but we were evangelizing. People were so grateful. People stopped and they just thanked us and they wanted us to pray over them. For me as a consecrated woman, this is a great motivation because I see how we are evangelizing both sides of society, right? Those that are the poorest of the poor and those that maybe have been blessed and privileged in a material way and also maybe in a spiritual way. But when they come together, I truly believe that we are transforming society. We are changing culture and we are making Christ's kingdom come. Okay. As a legionary, I love missions. And what do I love about missions? Missions have impacted me in a powerful way in my priesthood. And I would say one, what I love about missions is the energy in the room. When you get a whole bunch of young people, uh, when you get a whole bunch of um, Catholics together who are on fire to do something, there's an energy that's there. And this energy isn't just to do something good, it's to bring Christ. And um, so every mission, I feel like uh, it's like a spiritual energy drink. It just gives me, uh, it reminds me that preaching Christ is something so needed in the world today. It's something so radical, but it's something so energizing. Something comes alive. Like I was made to mission. And when you put like-minded people together, like our, our missions, there's something that, um, there's something that turns on. And all of a sudden, all these ideas start to come. All of a sudden, the, the, these gifts of the Holy Spirit through music, through prayer, through encouragement, they sort of come on or they come alive. And I'm able to see things in people and places that I wasn't before because um, these God has given me gifts for mission. And, and I, I love that. Um, another thing I love about mission is the adventure that um, I feel like in the Legion and the movement and through Mission Youth, we're called to go out. We're called to break down walls and stereotypes. And so my favorite mission experiences are one where I'm a place where a priest shouldn't be, right? In a good sense, right? I'm here sitting among a whole bunch of homeless people and we're playing cards or we're singing uh, praise and worship songs. Or we're on the streets of the city in front of the uh, most secular restaurants and we're having conversations with people about um, God's existence and his love and the meaning of suffering. And you're just like, I was made for this. This is, um, this is why I left my home. This is why I left my family. It was not just to, to sit behind some walls, but it was to meet um, Christ in his most urgent need. In, in the world and in the city and through missions, I feel like I'm fulfilling that part of Christ's call for my, myself and my priesthood. And the last thing I love about missions is that we get to mission together. Um, if you wanna go fast, go alone. If you wanna go far, go together. And uh, we're all there together. To see all these young people using their gifts and talents uh, on the missions, it it's excites me.
because you see Christ evangelizing through many different people in many different ways. And so the um, missions helped me as a priest to uh, one, to recognize just how, how much Christ is needed and how beautiful uh, the mission is to carry him to others. And secondly, to um, it encourages me to once again seek holiness and to um, recognize that I've received so much and that I was made to give that. And I, I recognize that when I see other missionaries doing exactly that.